new research argues that human evolution is shifting from genetic change toward culturally driven change. Culture now accumulates adaptive solutions faster than genes, producing a long-term, great evolutionary transition in how humans adapt and organize. Humans are in the middle of a great evolutionary transition. Humanity may be undergoing a profound shift in the engine of evolution, a move from genetic inheritance toward cultural inheritance as the primary pathway for adaptation. Researchers Timothy Waring and Zachary Wood argue that cultural systems, technologies, institutions, and shared knowledge now solve environmental and reproductive challenges far faster than natural selection can act on genes, producing what they call a great evolutionary transition in human history. This framing places recent human change alongside classic transitions in biology, such as the rise of multicellularity or eusocial insect societies, but driven by information transmitted socially rather than encoded in DNA. The mechanism behind this claim rests on the speed and cumulative nature of culture. Cultural traits can spread horizontally and vertically across populations within generations, be deliberately taught, and be improved iteratively. Genetic change cannot match that pace. Waring and Wood emphasize a positive feedback loop. As culturally organized groups grow more powerful, they create and maintain institutions that further accelerate cultural adaptation, which in turn reshapes social structure and selection pressures. In short, culture amplifies its own evolutionary influence, changing what counts as adaptive for individuals and groups. Concrete examples make the idea tangible. Medical technologies like eyeglasses, cesarean sections, and fertility treatments allow individuals to survive and reproduce in ways that would once have been constrained by biology, effectively decoupling some fitness outcomes from genetic variation. Likewise, legal systems, education, and infrastructure determine life chances in ways that overshadow many inherited traits. These cultural buffers and enhancements mean that group-level cultural health the robustness of hospitals, schools, and governance can matter more for survival and reproduction than individual genotypes. If this transition is real and accelerating, it carries deep implications. First, it reframes human vulnerability. Threats to cultural systems, institutional collapse, loss of knowledge, could have evolutionary consequences comparable to environmental catastrophes. Second, it changes ethical and policy priorities. Maintaining and equitably distributing cultural capacity becomes an evolutionary as well as moral imperative. Finally, it complicates how we think about identity and individuality, since success may increasingly depend on collective cultural inheritance rather than solitary genetic.